so welcome back to the channel everyone triple m here this video is for anyone that owns a fire stick fire tv q fire tv or any amazon product i'm going to show you a couple settings that you need to disable immediately let's go ahead and jump into it So of course, if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button in the top right, hit the notification bell guys. Best way to support this channel, of course, is simply by smashing the thumbs up on this video and share this video if you think it might help someone else. So let's go ahead and jump into it, not gonna keep you waiting. So the Fire Stick is a good device, very inexpensive, and uh, some of these settings, they're not only good for protecting your privacy, but it also lets your device run a lot faster because it has less um, processes to worry about. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna go up to our settings. We're gonna go down, we're gonna go all the way over to preferences. So this is where most of this is gonna lie, guys. So first of all, parental controls. It is turned off guys, it is pin protected. So you will set your pin initially, mine's turned off right now, but if I try to turn it on, it will ask for that pin that I set at some point. So great to have, great that it sets a pin that way. If one of your kids or someone get a hold of your device, they can't just view anything they want. Let's go ahead and back out. Privacy settings. Now, a lot of the settings that I was speaking about is gonna be in this menu, guys. Click on it. So the first one is device usage data. So the explanation states that with this turned on, Amazon will use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. So what this is saying that, hey, we'll, we'll see how everything's running, you know, we'll monitor X amount of people. If something goes wrong, we can kind of uh, put this into a pool. We can see there's an issue with your device, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll try to improve that. I don't trust that explanation. And for that purpose, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off as well. Next one is collect app usage data. So allow the app store to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded application. So this is one of those things I don't see where it benefits me. It's gonna benefit Amazon and their bottom line. I don't need it running. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off as well. And this one is the big one, interest-based ads. So explanation is that if you opt out of interest-based ads on this device apps will be instructed not to use your advertising id to build profiles for advertising purposes or target you with interest-based ads on this device the advertising id is a resettable identifier that can be used to build profiles or show you interest-based ads so if you guys ever wonder why you go to google and you search for a product then you go to facebook their products right there and on youtube you see the advertising in the bottom that's where they get you guys they have your advertising id they know exactly who you are what you're looking for and they'll go ahead and push those ads to you and most time it just gets annoying this is one of those things i'm going to turn off obviously um below that it does show your advertising id which you can reset um but this definitely will be turning off let's go back All right further down data monitoring so monitor data consumption on your fire tv stick uh, or the fire tv 4k whichever one you have so let's click on that guys dive in a little bit so data monitoring so depending how you're using your device so i can see this being uh handy if you're on a, a data restriction maybe using a hotspot or something like that you do have a couple settings that you can play with so for instance the video quality obviously the better the quality the more data it will use so if you're on a hot spot it might not be in your best interest to have it set to best so i do see benefits of this one you can go ahead and set alerts so receive an on-screen alert when your amazon fire stick data consumption reaches 90 and 100 percent of the set limit so if you click on that you can go ahead and set a limit maybe you're allotting only five gigs for this fire stick you can go ahead and do so so that's a useful tool in my opinion however if you're not on a 4g hotspot or something that has data restriction don't see it handy guys i'll go ahead and turn that off because remember these settings are running in the background these are processes running in the background and they will use at least a little bit of ram and a little bit with multiple applications will add up to be a lot so keep that in mind next thing is notification settings so so right now mine is set to do not interrupt but you do have the option to go ahead and turn it off and to the right it says turn off to show application notifications and pop up so within all that you can go ahead and turn it off up top but if you want to go in and target individual applications guys you don't want to see the notification on you can go ahead and just turn it off as you scroll through so pretty straightforward so that's another setting that not sure it's useful for me it's not further down featured content so 
you click on that you have two options you can allow video on autoplay and you can allow audio on autoplay so what this is let me go home if you're on the home screen on your amazon device and you scroll down and you just stay there for a little bit this will start happening so the video will start playing you will have audio for me it's really really annoying so i will go ahead and turn that off right away so let's go back to preferences i'm gonna go to feature content i'm gonna go ahead and turn off video i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the audio all right so the last setting is sync recent content so this is a setting that i'm gonna leave on can be useful especially if you're bouncing from fire stick to fire tv to fire tv cube uh, if you're watching something on one and we'll go ahead and sync it on the other device so that is useful in my opinion so further down you have the time zone or language you do have the option to turn off metric or set it to standard so that's basically for the settings i, I think uh, needs to be turned off guys like i said not only is it gonna keep your device running a little bit better but also protects your privacy guys it doesn't share a lot of the information that's on by default your app browsing data as well as your your advertising so with all that said and done if you guys are in the market for vpn check out ip vanishes new deal i'll put a link in the description so with this deal guys you get two years of vpn plus a secure cloud storage for four dollars and 12 cents a month so what i'll do is i'll put a couple of videos in the description showing you guys how ip vanish will work as far as accessing geolock content encrypting your data and just essentially make your web browsing a lot safer so link in the description this deal ends january 31st 2020 that's it for this video if you have any questions drop it in the comment section below as always don't forget to smash that thumbs up share this video if you think it might help someone else thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one